Hello everyone, my name is Devashish and I welcome you all to this video. So in today's video, we are going to discuss about GitHub Copilot. So if you are already not familiar with GitHub Copilot, let me quickly tell you what GitHub Copilot is. So GitHub Copilot is a software that you install as a plugin within your IDE. And it is basically an AI driven software programming helper, which will, you know, help you write a lot of codes and function without putting much effort. So uh, around one month back, my GitHub Copilot technical preview was approved and I got an email from GitHub that, you know, you can give it a shot now, but I could not do it that time. Uh, today, I got some free time so that so I decided to, you know, give it a shot. And uh, I thought, you know, I would make uh, the video of the entire session uh, so that I can share it with you guys uh, through my YouTube channel. So now uh, I am super excited for this. So let's give it a shot. So let's get started. Uh, this is the email that I have received from uh, GitHub. Uh, as you can see, it says, welcome to GitHub Copilot technical preview. And we are thrilled to invite you to start testing GitHub Copilot. And as you can see, this is the link where we actually can install the plugin in VS Code. So for that, I have already installed VS Code. Okay, so uh, here it is. If you go to extension, so right now there is no extension installed. So I'll quickly go here and install the extension. I'll click on install. And it is asking me to sign into GitHub. So I'll, I'll do that as well. Allow. So now we are actually allowing, allowing our VS code to, you know, uh, access our GitHub account so that it can verify we are authorized to use this extension or not. So I'll click on continue and what all access it needs, I'll authorize it. So let's click on open. The, the plugin act the extension is you know ready uh, runtime status it is done so i think i think we are good so let's get started i'll create a new file here uh, since i am you know more comfortable with python i'm going to start doing you know experimentation with that so let's i have a folder called copilot so i'll create test.py so this is how you use copilot. So basically you have to write a comment. Let's say, you know, merge. Uh, let's try, you know, some simple things. So merge to arrays. And now I'll press enter and I'll, you know, start writing the functions. So see, the thing is copilot has already started suggesting me this, you know, function names and all. And within a second, it suggested the entire function for me. So now it provides you two options here. Uh, accept uh, to accept this code I'll have to press tab uh, so let's do it let's do let's do that okay so the entire function is ready oh my god this is amazing okay so now let's you know uh, we I think we should be able to test it as well let's see you know so basically the function that is written two arrays it accepts so let's say you know array one is you know one Oh, it is suggesting that also, you know, sample arrays. My God, <laughs> let's, oh, B also it has suggested. Oh my God, it, it has suggested, you know, how can I test this? So print merge AB. Okay, I'll, I'll go ahead and I'll, you know, just go with the flow. My God, this is amazing. Uh, uh, Python test.py. Okay, I'll have to go to CD Copilot. Sorry. Python test. Whew god this is so freaking amazing so uh, okay so let's try something you know more complicated see if it is able to do it you know uh, let's try to you know download a, a web page uh, and see uh, okay let's say download and web page and print it to the console okay let's see let's say down download Oh my God. Amazing. So it has already, you know, written the entire function. I literally, you know, pressed two, three keys, I believe, and pressed tab uh, and the function is ready as you can see. So now, you know, uh, so it is going to test his, it, its own code. So I literally do not have to do anything. I'll just, you know, keep the cursor here for some time. So let's see what it does. So it's not doing anything. Let's download. Okay. It's, it's assisting that as well. Download web page and, you know, google.com and let's let's test as well 
python test dot py okay i'll have to remove this okay i'll have to print it obviously my god this is so freaking amazing you know i am i am literally i am speechless you know uh, i think this github copilot can be a very good friend of you know hackers and whoever is working in information security because sometimes we do not really care about you know lot of effi writing efficient code but what we care about is you know getting things done so so as you can see you know github autopilot you know can actually do a lot of cool things you know if you are uh, doing some pen test and stuff you want to you know uh, do some automation using copilot uh, how easily you can do it you literally do not have to you know go to even stack overflow and you know copy paste stuff uh, copy paste stuffs from here you can simply you know install this plugin and everything let's see you know if it, if it can you know port scan or something like that uh, let's let's try cool stuff you know uh, port scan for a given host my god this is also okay import socket i'll wait for some time let's see what it suggests dev scan i'll wait oh my goodness i am literally out of words i i don't know god it has just written a port scanner for us literally just you just have to put it in the for loop that's all you have to do so if you just do sprint scan and host name let's see i'll give my router's ip address and it is suggesting that as well i don't know what all things it is collecting 68.0.1 let's given port 80 God, amazing. Oh, oh, I'm just, you know. Port open. God, this is amazing. And let's try 81. It's, yeah, it's closed. So this can be, you know, a pen testers or a hackers, you know, best friend because uh, a lot of the you know uh, people who are working in security i have seen they try to you know uh, uh, they sometimes you know avoid writing code but you know if you have this plugin with you you do not have to write literally write any code you just if you are planning to write a you know port scanner literally you just have to put it in a for loop and actually you know traverse through you know uh, zero to you know one to you know whatever port range you want to scan that's what you have to do my god this is amazing so i'm gonna give it you know i'll i'll keep i'll i'll finish the video here and obviously i'm gonna try a lot of different other things with that and see you know what all capabilities it has but you know i was literally not expecting the plugin to do all this you know cool stuffs mm, i mean that is that are related to you know security so god this is amazing uh so i i am sure you know mm, uh it, it's still under improvement i know people are a lot of uh, people are working on it to kind of you know improve it more but whatever i can see right now it is it's, you know i'm literally speechless i don't know uh, how to react to it so anyway uh, it, i hope you guys have found this video useful uh, so i'll finish the video here so if you like the content of this video please let me know in the comment section and if you like the kind of content i upload on this channel i would request you to subscribe to this channel as well so thank you so much for your time. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.